guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is this Christmassy inspired makeup look this is more for go well you can wear it whenever you want but in my mind this is more for sort of going out Christmas parties or whatever you are getting up to in the festive season and um, I just wanted to do something using glitter and a bit colourful so this is what I came up with so if you want to see how I created this look then just keep watching so I'm going to start with my eyebrows and I'm using the iconic sculpt and boost eyebrow cushion mine is in the shade medium so we're getting used to this ring light I'm not used to being able, being able to actually see what I'm doing or the fact that I have light on my face I usually rely on natural lighting which uh it's very unpredictable and at the moment in the UK because it gets dark at like four and it's dull all day it's a nightmare I've been loving this product I've used it a few times and I actually think I've just pressed into that cushion a bit too much but that's fine I just find this really good at carving out your brows now when I first apply this it does look dark on me but when I've got the rest of my makeup on it's not so scary And I like to just do lines upwards and in the direction of the hair growth. Now my brows are done. I'm going to start with my eyes today because I'm going to be using glitter. So I'm just taking sellotape and I like to stick it on my hand and then peel it off just so it's not too sticky or damaging to my skin but is sticky enough to stick to my face. Now I think they're pretty even. I'm just going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just apply that to the lid up to my brow and just blend it all in as and you, to use that as my base. And I'm just going to blend it out with my Real Technique sponge. This I've actually left dry because I like the coverage to be high for my eyeshadow base. Just to really cancel out any different tones and veins that you may see. To ensure all the shadows blend on top nicely I'm just going to set this concealer first and I'm going to use my Ben Nye Banana Powder. And now for the fun bit. So to start I'm just going to take my Benefit Hoola Bronzer and just sweep that into my crease to use as my transition shade. And I'm going to put that actually in my crease and then blend it slightly above. I'm now going to dip into my W7 Delicious palette. And I'm going to take a combination of this shade, oh, of this shade here, I think, yeah and the orangey one at the end just to really warm up the crease. I'm going to start with just that light one first just to blend that in the crease and above. And I'm now going to take the combination of this colour and the deeper orange and I'm going to focus that more just in the crease and the outer V as well. I'm 
Now for a bit of colour, I'm going to take this green eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and it's in the shade Dirty Martini. I've just got this small eyeshadow brush. It's a blender brush but it's quite stiff and it's quite small so I find it quite good for placing colour on the lid and then to blend it out as well. So I'm going to use that just to pat this all over my lid. I'm really going to build it up until I've got it quite a vibrant colour. Now I'm going to take the brush that had the transition colours on and I'm just going to blend the two together with no extra um, product on this brush just literally to make it seamless. Now this next colour you're not going to see masses of but I just want it as a base for my glitter really and it's another Makeup Geek eyeshadow this time in the shade havoc and it's like a really nice duochrome green i'm actually going to use my finger to apply this and then i will blend it out with a brush i just find i can get more on um with my finger again i'm taking that brush that i used for my transition color and i'm just going to blend the crease just in case any of this pigment has got a bit higher up than I intended. And I actually want to make my crease a bit darker, so I'm going to dip into this MAC eyeshadow in the shade Swiss Chocolate, and I'm going to take that on my fluffy transition brush, and I'm going to work that into the crease. I just feel like it needs deepening up a bit because that green is quite a dark, bold colour. I'm still going to leave the warmer, lighter colour above my crease, I just want this directly in my crease and on my outer corner. I want to really deepen up my outer V. So I'm just going to take this dark brown in the W7 um, Delicious palette again. I really wish these had names. It would be so much easier, but they don't. So I'm going to use that same brush that I used to apply the green. Just because I can get a really precise application with this. Just going to pat that onto my outer V and then blend that in. Okay, that's much better. Now I'm happy with the deeper um, outer corner. I'm actually going to go back into this um, shade that I used in my transition and just the brush that you get with the palette. And I'm just going to blend above my crease and the darker colours just to add a bit of gradient and a little bit of warmth back into the eye. So now for the fun part which is the glitter. I just want to tell you a little bit about this glitter that I'm going to use because basically I saw um, from Blue Planet um, that glitter is so damaging to the environment. Um, so I actually looked into um, environmentally friendly glitters and I came across this website that is called Eco Stardust and it's basically a biodegradable glitter. I actually picked up a few colours um, because I want to do some other tutorials with them and th honestly it, they're really affordable, cheaper than normal glitters I would say. It's a pretty sizeable pot, you get a decent amount, it's going to last forever. They had so much colour to choose from, they had just plain colours, they had mixtures, they had more chunky, finer glitter, all sorts. Here, yeah, the pot is this size, it's 3 grams and it was £3.50, which I actually think is super affordable, I think that's a really good price, cheaper than a lot of even the drugstore glitters. So yeah, and it's better for the environment, which I much prefer. So I ordered it and the next day this arrived, which I was seriously impressed with. This is the little card that I got with it, just so you can see. And I will link their Instagram and Facebook down below. They also wrote me a little note saying, thank you for your order, Sammy. Please tag us in any pictures, which is super cute. I think it's really sweet that they um, write you a nice little card. It just adds a personal touch. And yeah, I just really wanted to get a nice 
biodegradable glitter that is good for the environment because around this time of year there's loads of glitter it's on your ball balls loads of people work in makeup it it's in bath bombs everything so i wanted to do my bit and get something that's not going to damage the environment so i don't have a glitter primer instead i'm just going to use my w7 it's like a lip topper but it's a little bit tacky you could use a lip balm or a lip gloss if you wanted it to be more sticky but i think this will probably work out just fine i'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and then use a brush to apply it oh just this looks pretty Just going to do it up to where I want my glitter, obviously. Whoa! Okay, obviously I can't tip it too much, but that is super sparkly. Oh, I hope you guys can see. That's crazy. I'm going to look like a Christmas tree. So I'm just going to take the same brush that I applied the um, lip gloss onto my lid with, just because it picks up the colour pretty darn easily. So I'm just going to pack that onto my lid. <gasps> Oh, it's so pretty. It's nice because it's really fine. Like I find some glitters quite uncomfortable to wear because they're chunky. I can't even feel this. I love glitter but you do find it everywhere for weeks after don't you and it's impossible to get off of your face another thing I'm liking is I'm actually not getting well any fallout so far but when I build it up I might get a little bit but I'm getting hardly any fallout from this glitter it's incredible So that is one eye done, it's super pretty, it's actually more vibrant than I expected it to be, I thought it might be like a darker green, but this is really pretty. I can't believe how sparkly it is and it stays on really well, it's actually almost more like a pigment, but it's glittery, it's incredible. Just to blend the glitter into my dark brown colour I'm going to be going back into the Dirty Martini shade by Colourpop. Just dipping into it a little bit, tapping off any excess and just lightly blending this green glitter into my, um, the brown basically, just there's a bit more of a gradient. What's really good as well is I'm applying that colour actually sort of on top of my glitter and I was kind of expecting it to sort of flick off. But it does just deepen up the glitter and sort of take away a bit of the sparkle but um, makes it a darker colour so you can really get that gradient. I am really impressed with this. I am really happy with that. I love this. That glitter is incredible. I actually find it easier to work with the normal glitter so super happy with that. Now I'm going to come back and finish the eyes later so I'm going to peel this tape off. I love these colours. I hope it's showing up how sparkly it is. So just to remove that tiny bit of glitter that I do have on my face, not that it really matters because it is such a minuscule amount, I'm just going to take my Pixie Glow Tonic. I've got this really adorable baby bottle that I got in like a little kit um, where I got a cleanser and a mask as well. Um, and I'm just going to just wipe that over my skin. So to prep and prime my skin, I'm going to use this Pixi Rose Oil Blend. I love this, especially with the foundation I'm about to use. It's like the perfect combination. If it was with like a super dewy foundation, I would probably let it soak in for about half an hour before I apply my foundation. And um, just as like skincare rather than primer. But with this foundation, it works really well as a primer. So I'm just do sort of three drops on the skin and I actually like to pat it in just because it's more gentle on my skin. Oh, it smells incredible. 
it smells like Turkish Delight, which I love. Now for foundation, I'm using my current favourite, which is the Ordinary Serum Foundation. I did do a first impression on this foundation, so I will link that down below. But this is incredible. And I'm just going to do a few pumps of that on my face. And for this, because I've used the oil underneath, I actually go in with a dry beauty blender or Real Technique sponge. Mine's filthy, so excuse that because... I really need to wash it, it's disgusting. Um, but the oil helps me blend it out. I get fuller coverage because this is dry. And also it's just the perfect balance between my oily skin and my, well, the oil on my skin and this foundation. When I tried it before, it actually looked a little bit dry. So now I've combined the two with this. It's just like a, literally a match made in heaven. And it's so easy to blend out as well. Now I'm just going to build the coverage up slightly on my cheeks. So I'm going to do kind of a, just a, kind of a quarter of a pump, I would say, on each cheek, just to ensure that all my redness has gone. Now my foundation is all blended in. It might look slightly oily at the moment, but just trust me, go with it, let it settle into your skin and it leaves such a nice finish. Now rather than cream contour, I'm actually going to cream bronze and I'm going to use this Chanel Soleil Tan. I really wanted this product for a long time. I got it for Christmas um, a year or two years ago, I can't really remember. Um, and I used it, but I didn't, love it and i'd seen loads of people sort of rave about it so i just wasn't that sure so i haven't reached for this for ages and then one day i just randomly felt like using it again and i used it in a different way and now i absolutely love it so before i'd tried to blend it out with a beauty blender i'd drawn it on with like a concealer brush just to get the shape and then blend it out with a beauty blender i tried with a brush applying it to my skin and blending it out with a brush and it just never really worked for me it was like just like, like a kabuki brush that i would use for my foundation um i then decided to use this duo fiber stippling brush and i swirl directly into the product i don't put it on my face first and i just buff this into my cheeks really lightly because i don't want to move my foundation around underneath and it works perfectly i absolutely love this now And I just apply this along my, where I would cream contour really, along my cheekbones and slightly onto my cheeks. And then I do around my forehead and temples. Just such a natural kind of healthy looking bronze. And that's what I like about it, especially during the winter, because although it is quite warm, um, you can build it up if you want it more intense, but it is quite subtle which is what I really like at the moment. Now I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand and apply that to all the usual places. I'm just gonna take my Real Technique sponge again and blend it all out. And to set it in place, I'm just going to, again, take my Ben Nye Banana Powder and just tap it under my eye. And I like to also do it around my nostril because I always get oily there. And I like to prevent it as much as I possibly can. 
to bronze and contour all in one i'm going to use my w7 hollywood bronze and glow i always use this i pretty much use it every day it's just the perfect contour shade and also has a slight i explain this every time as well but just for those of you that are new it's the perfect contour shade and also has a slight shimmer in it so it looks more natural and more like skin I'm just going to use this, it's actually a blush brush, just along my cheekbone and temples, just where I applied the bronzer basically. And I have do this with a very light hand because I don't want to move any product around underneath. And I just slowly or gently buff that into my skin. For blush I'm going to use my Colourpop Aphrodisiac just to add a little flush of colour into the cheeks. For highlight I'm going to use my Mary Luminizer by The Balm as always. I did try and use something else, I actually did for a little while, but I've started to use this again and I just can't help it, it's just the best highlighter ever, it is my favourite of all time as I'm sure you have all probably guessed. So I want quite a nice intense highlighter because I always do. I just love highlight, if I could do my whole face in this, I would. Okay guys, I just gave myself an absolute fright because I managed to knock my camera off and drop it on the floor and it went all blurry, so I thought I broke it. It's because I've got my ring light, but I haven't got like the little adapter to put my camera on so I can actually slot it on properly. It's literally balancing and me big fat foot managed to knock it on my camera and went Whoo! so it went blurry gave me a fright for a minute there but I think I'm okay now like keep checking that it's not blurry I'm now just going to apply winged liner and I'm using the NYX matte liquid liner And this liner applies really smoothly over the glitter so it's not causing it to go like dry or chunky or anything, which is obviously good. I found previously with some glitters, it's really hard to get liner to go nicely over the top of it. Yeah, that went on fine. Good. I, I'm Honestly, I know I keep saying it, I sound like a broken record, but I am so impressed with this biodegradable glitter. I'm just going to do the other eye. So the lashes I'm using are the Dodo lashes and this is in the style D115. I love these lashes. I think they're brilliant. So I'm just going to use my duo lash glue and then whilst that's drying I'll apply um, some mascara. For mascara I'm going to use the Kiko Milano um, 30 day treatment mascara. This is actually nearly kind of all dried up but the reason I'm using this is because I dropped my Urban Decay mascara down the back of my drawers and I haven't had a chance to get it out yet if I'm completely honest so this one will do. This is actually pretty good it's just that it's um nearly dried out but because I'm using falsies anyway it doesn't matter too much I just want a thin layer so that it all blends right I've actually changed what I'm gonna do I'm obviously still gonna stick my lashes on but usually I always do like a color and if I do a wing I just do it like this so I thought to mix it up a bit I'm actually going to apply black pencil liner into my tight line and waterline. I never usually do this because I find it can make my eyes look small but I want it to be something a bit darker, a bit sultry and I'm going to really smoke it out of the bottom so it should be fine. I just feel like doing something a bit different. I'm going to be wild. I'm kind of doing it onto my, in my waterline and then along the lower lash line, just so it's easier to sort of smoke out and blend together. 
and to smoke it out I'm just going to take that green shade again and the same brush right lashes are on I'm just going to apply mascara to my lower lash line now And now for lips, because it's all about the eyes, I'm just going to go for like a nice nude pink. I'm going to use this. I got it at Beautycon. It was a freebie as well, which makes it even better. But I actually love it. It lasts so well and it's such a nice colour. And it's this Nude Sticks Magnetic Lip Colour. And I picked up the colour Blossom. So I'm just going to pop that on my lips. It is so smooth and creamy and because it's like a jumbo pencil you can line your lips and like fill them in all in one hit. And finally I'm just going to set all of this in place with my Barry M Flawless Mix and Fix. Dewy Finish Makeup Setting Spray. I just need to take my hair down and my hair will be magically straightened when I come back with no ears on. Ta-da! Done. So this is the finished look, actually. I just want to pop a little bit of my highlighter just in my inner corner just to brighten and open up my eyes a little. now i'm done so this is the completed look just super i don't usually go this heavy on my eyes but super heavy smoky and sultry with that pop of glitter so it's nice and christmassy and i was inspired by a christmas tree <laughs> i'm really impressed with that glitter i love that i'm like i said i'll link all their details down below but i think they are incredible and i would say to you seriously consider getting that instead of normal glitter one i think it performs better than normal glitter um in terms of pigmentation and it's easy to blend on top and i just really like using it and also it saves the environment so if we can all do our bit, you know, every little helps. So really love that glitter, super impressed. We'll definitely be buying more and I have a few more colours to try out in future tutorials. So I'll just get a closer look. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe because it's Christmas week, so you get a video every day this week. We're probably already part way through it. Um, so if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and check my previous Christmas week ones. Um, and yeah, there's more to come. So thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next video.